guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a new SBC to review. It is going to be for the new Vlahovic card. Uh, guys, with this bad boy in game, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot three, high medium work rates, left footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So the hopes of this card is that he is essentially the left-footed version of the Moise Keen card. As you guys know with Moise Keen, you guys know that I'm actually a fan of that card. I think it performs really well. And the price of the card was actually very reasonable for how he performed in-game. Uh, with Vlahovic, he has the finesse shot trait, chip shot trait. I, I always feel like the chip shot trait definitely helps out with animation choices. Uh, this card definitely looks like it could be an obvious engine chemistry style, depending on whether or not... He gets lengthy, which he does. Okay, so that's the key thing here. So this card, base card stats dribbling wise, if you turn him into a lengthy player, is actually not in a horrible position. Because if you give him a marksman chemistry style and you boost those base card stats for dribbling with shooting and physical boosts, and then you work with the lengthy at an 83, 88, that could be perfectly fine to work with, to be honest with you guys. You know, it was like when I used to review the Shupa Moting card uh, back in the day as well. I gave him a marksman. I'm like, it makes sense. The reason why I'm saying this, right, is because let's say, for instance, you make him a controlled player and you give him that engine chemistry style. Guys, he's six foot three with a high and average body type. Is the engine chemistry style really going to be something that you really want to work with? I don't know. You know, uh, we'll see in game, obviously, in regards to how he performs. But I'm going to be trying him out initially on that marksman because it does turn him into a lengthy while giving him the essentially full capabilities of shooting, the physical, the dribbling. You know, you even give him a little bit of a jumping boost, uh, which could definitely be very nice, too. It wouldn't be horrible uh, to give him a finisher either uh, if you want to make him a controlled player because of the um, dribbling stuff. But a um, finisher doesn't make sense. Like I said, guys, if you're using these types of cards, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. With the Marksman chemistry style, he's going to turn into a lengthy player, passing on the cards in an okay area. If you give him an engine, it obviously would be improved. Um, defending, he does have 87 heading accuracy, 76 for jumping. Strength is there. Stamina is at an 85 for a striker position, so nothing too bad there. So, yeah, we'll see how this card performs. Let me just go ahead and unlock the card, and I'll show you guys how we line him up in-game. Okay, guys, so we put a quick little team together here. Nice little cheeky Serie A team. We're going to be trying out uh, Spencer's... 4 one, two, and 2 I don't think I have a Marksman, do I? No, don't have a Marksman. Unless I'm blind. Anyways, uh, in the 4 one, 2 and 2 we'll play him like so. Right, so just like that. And then we're going to have him in the left striker position just on the stay forward instruction. So, yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he is a beast. By the way, I'm going to give him a Hawk, actually, because I like the, the boost on Hawk, right? You get a nice little pace boost. Shooting is perfect. A little bit of physical stats, right? Uh, boosting the dribbling i mean we're, we're gonna see if i want it because uh, it's that park the bus thing that sometimes you want to improve it right so we'll see yeah i just gotta work that drag gotta work that these guys always just shoot into the net every time Oh, he missed that. 90 degree angle facing upwards. You got to hit the 45 on the inside for more consistency. Nice. Good finish. Good finish. A small little drag right there. Because his finishing stats are super high, he, still, he scores it regardless of me not timing it. Really? Why, EA? He has perfect shooting. Oh my goodness. That's why I tell you guys all the time, man. A perfect finishing, you still need a green. Well, 
Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. I will say it's it's fun to use uh, Moise Keen and Vlahovic up top. It's not like super meta, but... Oh, I can't even switch. Oh, yeah, there we go. We go, we go to the bottom side. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I gotta work some extra angles there. Oh, you know what? That should have 100% registered to Vlahovic. I, you know? Yeah, try to use, utilize the lengthy there, but... Oh, nice try, nice try. Maybe on a green, I would have actually hit it to, directly to the corner. Nice. Good finish there. If you you got a green time, like that's you know what I you know what I'm saying. You got a green time, man. I got a white on that, but chip shot trades kind of helped me out a little bit there. It was a good run. Oh, I couldn't get the green on that. With the finesse from a distance. Oh. And just trying to work that specific angle to the side. <laughs> oh, the way you got to talk in this game is funny. Guys, I will admit, if you give him an engine chemistry style, his dribbling is actually not that bad. Because I have a Hawk on him, and he still dribbles okay. Like, he has obviously, like, that that physical emphasis to him, but not, like, a bad one, you know? Oh, I thought the driven pass wasn't going to work there. I was like, excuse me? Ah, oh, couldn't get the green on it. That was the white. Oh, I could have settled it. I had a lot of space there, to be fair. Yeah, see, his dribbling is for a physical type striker. It's really not that bad. Oh, from behind he gets it. Ugh. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Vlaovic. Are they going to forge ahead? There it is. Wait for that track back, get into position. Make sure you hit your greens. Did my settings reset for my tactics? Oh, if I actually, if he didn't get that challenge from behind there, that would have been perfect. Oh, so close to getting that challenge off with Quadrado. Quadrado's so good, man. I told you guys, he's, he's a sick player to have in a team. See what I'm saying about his dribbling? It's not bad, man. It's actually not bad. If you wanted to make him a controlled player and you gave him an engine, like his dribbling would actually not be that horrible as a physical type striker. Mm, that's the problem with the physical type dudes. Very unresponsive for those types of situations. 
I tried to do a heal to heal against the goalie and he took forever to do it. Oh, I didn't register the right person, man. Yeah, good build up. The layoff pass was actually good. That was the important part. If it didn't do a good layoff pass, you wouldn't have scored that. Uh, deflected. Deflected, but still a good goal. We'll take it. Actually helps me on the defense there. Let's see if he actually helps me on the attack afterwards. Almost gets the jam. Oh, dude, if I got that volley, that would have been crazy. You know what I'm saying? Got some, he's got some, some saucy sharp dribbles on him. You give him an engine, it's actually not bad. Physical striker by default, like you're gonna have to work with the dribbling. That's just how it is, but it's not bad for a physical type striker. Oh man, I thought that was gonna be a goal for sure. Imagine I got the dummy off there. Sure. He has a chip shot trail. I was kind of hoping that like doing it by a little bit would have worked, but. Okay guys, so final verdict on the Vlahovic card. So um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's actually pretty fun to use. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, here's the thing, right? A big variable to consider when it comes to using a card like this in the team is 100% going to be the fact that he's left-footed. That's like the big thing there, right? So left-footed striker with a four-star, four-star capability being played on a lengthy accelerate, you know, either on a Hawk, chemistry style, or if you don't really want to play him in a lengthy way, honestly, guys, his dribbling is not that bad in game. Now, what's interesting is that he doesn't have any like dribbling traits or anything like that, but I feel like maybe it's because of his base card stats for dribbling being set up in certain areas that actually makes him very doable in those areas, right? Like, I don't feel like I need to boost the dribbling as a physical type striker, uh, which is definitely very nice to be able to kind of utilize that lengthy on him with a Hawk chemistry style, get him on his left foot, go for those strikes. Guys, in FIFA, I tell you guys this all the time, the shooting is not special with cards, okay? You just have to green time as much as possible for the consistency. If you get the green time shots, even some of the whites, it works as well, right? Uh, the Hawk chemistry style definitely feels like it's very ideal to give him because you work with a little bit of extra pace on a lengthy. His shooting is essentially perfect. And then he actually has some physical capabilities too. A card that a lot of people will be comparing this bad boy to is the Moise Keen card because this card was released as a player of the month card for 39K. So it's a 29K difference for a card that genuinely performs really well in game uh, because obviously in his case, what people were working with is the fact that obviously controlled players are still pretty fast in the game nowadays. So if you give him a finisher chemistry style, he actually performs really well. But guys, to be honest, the SBC, if it was like 10, 20 K cheaper, definitely would have been nice for sure. But is he a pretty decent physical type striker in game? He is. I actually enjoy using him. Like I said, with him being left footed, left footed to be played in that left sided area. So if I'm playing a four triple two left striker, four, one, two and two left striker, I felt like he did pretty nicely. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Like his finishing came off great. Again, you do have to green time your shots as much as possible. So if you enjoy this type of striker up top, then I think he's actually pretty good as a bigger type of striker. You know, that's just uh, like, I think he was pretty decent. I don't, I actually don't think he was as horrible as it is to kind of make the likes and dislikes very similar to each other. Um, I just wish the SBC price was a little bit lower for what he offers. But honestly... He's not bad. I actually liked him. He scored a lot of opportunities for me, so can't go wrong with him. What's interesting about him is that, like I said, the dribbling in game didn't feel that bad. So if you wanted to make him a controlled player and you gave him an engine chemistry style, it wouldn't be a horrible decision. But let's be real, guys. Do you get a card like this who's going to be that physical guy up top to give him a dribbling boost that, sure, it does get improved a little bit, but I mean, I feel like you use him just to give him that hawk and make his shooting as consistent as possible, add a little bit of extra jumping and stuff.
you know? So if you like this type of striker, he's pretty decent in game. I enjoyed using him. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.